Hi everybody, Dr. Friedman here. It's Thursday. It's a very special Thursday. Um, it's a very strange week indeed for those of us in the TTRPG course because of course at the very start of class was the state of the role for Critical Role announcing and also not announcing a whole bunch of new information about Campaign 3, which will start on Thursday, October 21st. As I mentioned to students as we were getting started uh, today, that will be an optional uh, set of viewings for the rest of the semester. Uh, one student wins a prize for having put it into their initial contract, which had gotten feedback from me at the time of, I don't know that C3 is going to start by before this class ends. So I was wrong. Student was right. We'll see how it all goes. But the real special part about today for us was we had another virtual class visitor, this time Tim Hutchings, um, who is a game design professor, which I sure as heck can't say about myself, who came to his current work, uh, including the creation of the fabulous Thousand Year Old Vampire, a fascinating companion volume uh, that has been a really interesting experience, as well as some uh, potential generative things that are coming down the pipeline in relationship to that game, um, started out in the world of art. Uh, and and kind of New York fine art. Uh, and so a lot of our conversation today was in that realm, which is a nice um, counterpoint to our discussions with D&D um, &D actual play streamers and folks who have been in kind of other commercial parts of the game industry. Uh, we had some really interesting questions from students, both about mechanical stuff around thousand year old vampire how it was developed initially written in two days but then took much 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 longer to create into the amazing resonant um, uh, ephemera filled uh, piece of art it is today um, so we had some you know behind the scenes um, you know show and tell of some different pages and some of the meanings that are encoded in there that are Tim's uh, and not necessarily something that is clear from the reading. Um, we may get our hands on the InDesign file, which I'm very excited for a future course on um, games and as textual objects, um, which I will probably offer around 2024. We'll see. Another thing that I really enjoyed was the ways that some of the conversational things that we've been talking about both as a class but also with some of our other guests like B.A. Vinabria, um, things like building community in virtual spaces versus the kind of dangers of parasociality, that's really hard um, and to kind of navigate. But one of the most fascinating parts was Tim talking about potentially going back into um, the game convention circuit and having a reputation based on this, his most popular game, and fearing that the dichotomy between who he is as a person and the kind of author function that he has, to use a technical term, um, as the creator of Thousand Year Old Vampire um, may be uh, kind of in some ways at odds with each other. And I had never really thought about you know, kind of extending parasociality into a kind of meeting place with ideas around the author function, the, the, the idea we have around um, the creator of a piece. I always tell my students, right, like there's a historical flesh and blood author and then there's the notion of the author we get from the text. And I tend to teach that in classes that are about historical living people, right, that we cannot recover and we cannot talk to. But of course, this is very different because uh, as I keep coming back to in recent days, we're talking about live people here who are still around and available for comment. Well, sometimes available for comment. Um, it was a great conversation with literally dozens of recommendations of um, games he's found interesting and I think what was really great for the students was to distinguish between um, games that he enjoys playing 
or games that are his favorites in those ways or games that he uses to introduce people to the hobby versus games he has in his collection because there's some interesting mechanic or some interesting aesthetic component that while the game might be real trippy or even maybe unplayable, but it has that kind of spark. And I think this was a day to talk about creativity in a way that we haven't been able to before because our previous two guests were our cre creators, but they're creators in spaces that we can think of as collaborative, right? Even Dungeon Master Prep is for the you know initial audience of the table who then kind of interact with it and transform it. Um, and it's very interesting to compare that to the indie game designer who may or may not work with a team, but can, in theory, be working all by themselves until the moment of playtest, which I think is a little bit different from the idea of bringing uh, prepared DM materials to the collaborative space of the table, right? It's the audience is, you know, um, still yet another remove out from that. So we talked a little bit about how the reactions to Thousand Year Old Vampire and its companion art piece have gone. Um, and some of the logistics, we've talked a little bit about, you know, the working in Adobe InDesign. And since um, Auburn is a Adobe campus, it is something that we do teach in classes like document design, um, which some of our students are document design students. So I think it was a really rich conversation and I know that my students reacted really well to it because as soon as the Zoom was over, one student hopped up and said, I've had all these thoughts in my head and I've never heard them expressed by anybody and this is amazing and just what a, what a pleasure. Um, so yeah, so that's the um, short campaign diary for today in part because there's also a big day here at Auburn and I've got a whole bunch of faculty meetings. Um, so this is gonna be short and sweet. Um, but uh, coming up next week, we will also only have um, one video, possibly two if we're able to edit the B-Day footage from last week um, in time. Um, but what we will definitely have is a campaign diary for Tuesday's class. We don't have class on Thursday because we have fall break and we desperately need it. Um, and that's going to be, I think, an interesting video, especially for people who are running um, classes like this or thinking about running classes, because I'm going to try to turn the quiet year into a game that can be played by about 15 to 20 students together in the room in 75 minutes. So stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, it's Thursday. It's an interesting Thursday. I hope you are well and have a great weekend.